Well, here we are in Nice, France again. This time, Sunday morning, April 24th, 2011, for the uh, International Sprint Distance Triathlon. And these are the last of uh, uh, the last of the swimmers coming out of the water, which is the first leg of the three-part leg of the triathlon, a 750-meter swim, and that man looked like he was well organised, plenty of vum. This man a little bit slower. The trick is to get that web suit loosened up on the way to uh, the bicycle area for the second stage, the 20k ride. After which you've got a 5k run and uh, some find it easier than others to get those suits undone. Now she is not looking too balanced. After being in the water for however long, she looks up and it's definitely not a straight line. Hopefully she got through the race okay. Nice and easy there, plenty of room. And this man seems to have trouble with his left arm, which could be a combination of right arm dominance in normal life and uh, breathing to one side. Ultimately, after a bit of a swim, now this just shows a close-up of the wetsuit and the, the extension of the zip, which is nice and handy for those who find it. This man's very blessed, having this gorgeous lady coming in with him, his partner presumably, to the bike area to uh, encourage and support another happy athlete there. And here's the support crew from the, from the beach, the pebbly beach of Nice. Uh, having something to eat, another athlete carefully running along the, the wet area and bare feet to the bike and there's the so-called VIP area which I wasn't allowed in, didn't have the necessary qualifications for that but that's probably where the uh, awards are for the winners of this. Now the main riders have already gone through the second stage or going through uh, so these would be uh, I don't know how many athletes, I'm guessing around about 500 maximum in this race. They've yeah, got a fair head of steam, moving along quite quickly. There's a corner coming up soon, so they're not quite as fast on this side. Here they really start to fly again as they come around from there and uh, absolutely zooming along here. Except for one lady you'll see shortly, one young lady who seems to be having trouble with the bike maybe. It's either the gears or she's just saying, oh, I'll do it at my pace. Nice and easy. This is this fella is well behind. He's the last swimmer out of the water. Doesn't look like an athlete. He gets a nice support from the uh, little applause from the stewards there. So he's getting ready for his bike. Meanwhile, there are those who've already done their bike stage, and they're they're off and running here. Just five k's to go from here, and they'll go to our left, and then they'll come back from the left towards the finish line, which is about 100 metres to our right. Plenty of cyclists still on the track. Some very healthy athletes here. A fairly young group with a few exceptions. And uh, triathlons are an interesting challenge for the body. There's no doubt that, uh, that uh, the three disciplines Usually when it's difficult to get the good strength in all of them. It takes a certain amount of creative training to do that. Very shortly we'll see the absolutely fastest athlete, the lead athlete, coming through from our left to finish this race. And I've edited it so that you'll think that the first two or three are very close together. They're actually a little bit further apart than this. Stand by for the lead athlete coming through very shortly. As you can see, here we go number one and the nice round of applause funny we call it a round of applause but applause from the crowd not a big crowd a small crowd actually but uh, and not really much vocal encouragement but uh, yeah, lots of lots of applause which is nice and makes me want to do this race next year just for the the structure and it looks like quite an easy course it's flat for the cycling flat for the running the Mediterranean tends to be relatively flat sometimes choppy quite good this morning. Man with a clipboard there monitoring the numbers it would seem and uh, plenty of cyclists still going out there as these healthiest and fastest there goes the first woman come through towards the finish line and uh, noticeably 
I only saw two dark-skinned athletes in this, which is a big contrast to the fastest runners in the half marathon that was on just two weeks ago. And uh, the difference is that they are not so genetically attuned or designed uh, for cycling and swimming as they are for running in both short and distance, uh, sprint and distance. Whereas, and this this is a relatively short triathlon, of course. But uh, the speaking of which, on June 26th, Nice will have the annual Ironman triathlon as part of the world calendar, and uh, that is an extraordinary race when you consider 3.8 kilometer swim. 180km ride and a 42.1km run. It takes the fastest athlete something around 8.17, it's just about the world record, 8 hours 17, imagine doing it for this long. Whereas this race at a 750m swim, a 20k ride and a 5k run is around, a, a, I guess, an hour, hour and a quarter, hour and a half. I'm not sure the fastest. I was trying to find the fastest for this and I haven't been able to track it on Google, but um, say the first man's coming under an hour, which is pretty good. But and it's not quite so hard on the body. Imagine doing this for eight hours, a combination of the three. Wow. Now that's extraordinary. So I won't be doing that. But this one I'd like to do this race next year. I've done the three stages in training uh, without a race and um, it's a nice feeling afterwards. You feel you've used every muscle of the body, different form of breathing for swimming and cycling and running. And uh, yeah, it's not a crowded course, so it looks like a, a good a good event to join in with uh, next year. There's um, one athlete on the other side running, or normally everyone's running, but she's only just walking. You might see her at some point. Uh, and also you'll see a man with a t-shirt which shows the sweat that can build up, but oddly enough the sweat isn't even on the t-shirt, it's uh, more of the top right and the lower left. There's the walking athlete. She points to someone in the crowd and points to her leg, which, uh, which indicates, and yet she doesn't seem to have an injury, but uh, maybe she does, maybe it's difficult for her to run. So she's going to complete the course by walking it. There's the other uh, dark-skinned athlete. There are two, you'll see the other one later coming through briefly and uh, some people better designed for, for this than others you see the fastest athletes tend to have a relatively overall lean build not a particularly stocky build it's harder to uh, it's not the ideal balance it seems for this race but uh, then again there are genetic exceptions I guess but generally the really exceptional athletes are, are just uh, Lean and mean and very efficient. A few uh, strained faces we can see, lots of cameras. And uh, one man actually, you'll see him come through with his teeth clenched. He's determined to get an extra spot before he crosses the line. Just a hundred metres to our right, finish line. As I mentioned, this is quite a comfortable day, 18, 19 degrees no breeze, about 70% humidity, a little bit of rain yesterday so maybe 75% uh, but a very comfortable condition, the UV level will be mild so a lot of people, there are a few caps but a lot, lot without a hat or a cap one unusual hat you might see come through women are doing very well here, some good female athletes amongst, there's another and. Uh, We're coming towards the end of a coverage that um, is just a simple, there goes the t-shirt with the uneven sweat. I prefer a sweat band when I'm running just to soak up the extra sweat. I'd sweat maybe more than the average in a race like this, I'm sure I would. Um, not sure what the water temperature would have been today, perhaps 18, 19. This man is definitely running out of fuel, but he'll get there. Yes, yeah, so uh, it's just a simple video of the race for those who who like to uh, watch a little bit of competition or 
know somebody in the race or have an interest in taking on a triathlon or training for one, there goes that dark-skinned athlete I mentioned. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed it. Catch you on the next one. Ciao.